Hey guys, welcome back to Cat's World. Um, this is the shirt I was talking about that I bought online with the money I got from We Are 8. It's a pretty fly shirt. Y'all should just like wait for the pics that are coming with this. Like, ah. <laughs> so, um, this is a requested video. I assume the person is in grade 12 or even grade 11, but, um, it's a video on application and then the entire process of applying, what goes into it, what you should think about. And I want to stress this before I start. Before you decide to apply for anything, do your research like within all the different universities. It does help. I remember I found out so much about the University of Pretoria when I was actually at orientation. Like the fact that my degree is actually accredited i didn't know that and i should have looked at that before i even applied because that matters the most so um yes so now let's get into it um before applying there are some things you need to think about it is where you want to apply based on distance um where you want to apply based on accreditation and where you want to apply based on the course itself for instance law is um university of pretoria is based in law in the whole of south africa so if you want to study law then you should go to the university of pretoria and i've been to the library and i've seen their world ranking is actually really good um so yes and in terms of accreditation you might not know what this is and i hope i do <laughs> for my sake <laughs> um it means that you can your matter your degree will matter anywhere in the world so for instance now when I get my degree I'll be a, a credit I'll be accredited and I'll be able to do whatever I do in South Africa and in Paris and in United States of America because what I've learned applies anywhere in the world so that's what matters and also you should think about distance because this is actually a very good example of Corona, for instance. A lot of people who come from different provinces or even countries have come to University of Pretoria. And now with Corona, they all had to go back in a rush and things were so difficult. I have friends from different provinces now and I could see, oh my goodness, I was like, thank God I chose a university in Pretoria because then I can just go home and nothing happened. So you should definitely think about that. Hmm. I made my own iced coffee. If you know me, you know I buy iced coffee like every single day on campus because I, I have mentioned this before, I get very tired during the day so I need a, a boost. <laughs> also, I actually wanna stress this. Um, in grade 11, I feel like everyone knows this but no one actually cares. When you apply to university, you use your grade 11 marks so what does that mean? If you got bad bad maths mark, then you won't be able to apply for a engineering degree because you did badly in grade 11. Why did you do badly? People tend to play in grade 11 and it, oh, I don't know why. It is the year that will get you into university. It is the first step. So for me, for instance, I took grade 11 very seriously. I, I, I take every grade seriously because I actually took my academics seriously but for instance if you have you know never cared about your academics I advise you to start caring in grade 11 because then I want you guys to be able to choose what you want to study and for marks not to be something that stops you from getting there don't let something like marks stop you from like doing what you want what do you want I don't want marks to be something that stops you from getting into any degree so basically push and do give it your all grade 11 so you can at least get ex get distinctions i know people who are like uh i couldn't apply for a degree that i wanted because in grade 11 my marks were not good well why were they not good what were you doing you were literally just a student all you had to do was make sure you do great it is not that hard and i understand it's hard if you have like difficult subjects but just literally give it your all and then also grade 12 final exams give it your all other than that in between ah, you can you can take a break but your grade 11 marks 
matter. And I think I used I think I used the final marks if I'm not wrong. I think you use your grade day and final marks. So that's when you should know. Stop playing, pick up your socks, do what you gotta do. And then the second thing, now when you're actually applying, I want you to think of um, things like do you want to stay at risk? How will you fund your university? Um, the things you will need when you apply, by the way, you will need your parents' details, like the ID numbers and everything, so have that on hand and ready when you apply. And then you will also need your own, you need to scan your ID and your grade 11 report. So download the app Cam Scanner and then just scan them and then upload them when you apply. Side note, I actually only applied at the University of Pretoria, therefore I can only basically tell you the processes of the University of Pretoria. I did, I was in the process of applying at VITS and then I stopped because I realized I don't, I don't need to, at that point I was already accepted at UP. But I realized it was such a stupid decision <laughs> because when I was waiting for my finals, I was like, oh my goodness, what if I did so badly? I don't even get into UP it was not a good decision but also I had to consider um, application costs so the application cost at UP is 300 it is the highest in the entire country all the other ones are lower than that so if you can at least just pay that for you for UP then you're fine I know NWU is free VITS I think is 150 um, UCT, I don't know, but I know there's like, I think only two of the universities in South Africa, it's it's free to apply, but you need to have your money ready. I remember when I was applying, I you can apply and then pay later, but what happens is then they don't actually look at your application at all. So I had applied and then um, when my parents gave when my parents gave me the money, that's when I finally paid and that's when they considered my application as fully in. So have your money um, ready when you apply so they can immediately apply. And another thing I want to mention, the earlier you apply, the better. Because I applied very early. I know applications open 1st of March for UP. I don't know about other universities, but then um, I applied very early during that time. And then the next week I was already accepted. Look at that. Then I don't have to apply anywhere else because I know where I'm going now. I, you know, but do apply elsewhere in case your marks don't go well. Do, but also consider accreditations when you apply elsewhere. So, if, for instance, let's just leave it at that. Um. So yes, and then I want you to consider: Will you be staying at rest or private accommodation when you apply at UP? You must um say during the application time if you're applying at risk or not i don't know if, i don't think you can do it later so you must consider it beforehand then you tick that you're doing risk and then what happens is they take you for the university and then um i remember during june exams i remember i remember it so vividly i was with my friend and we were at the locker and then i checked my phone after the exam and i saw that i was accepted to risk and it's a big deal because risk looks at your marks you don't just get in it's based on marks so i was like oh my gosh i'm in rest i'm so so happy and then i looked further into the email and they were like i got this like maybe second week of june and then they were like by month end of june i have to pay five thousand seven hundred as a deposit and i was like what the hell what where am i gonna pick up five thousand seven hundred rand come on so prepare that 5,700 rand beforehand, honey. And if you, do, if you don't communicate that um, you won't be paying or you won't be staying there, or if you don't communicate that um, can you pay later, or um, maybe your bursary hasn't given you money yet or something, you don't communicate at all, then they're gonna charge you, I think, 4,000 for not even communicating. So you have to respond to the email and tell the person like okay I will pay but at this time or whatever so just make it work and also obviously then you have to apply for bursaries beforehand so that you could but I don't think bursaries will pay the money out that early anyway I think we'll only pay it later so maybe prepare the 5,000 or just send them an email and I think they can make an exception for you I don't know I never tried my mom was like just freaking cancel that you're not going there so I cancelled <laughs> 
also when you apply i know up has a video on youtube that you can just watch and they base i watched the video when i was applying just watch the video apply and make sure you do everything right because why would you not want to get into university because of a small technicality like you just missed one thing no no watch the video it will help you as i said i don't know about other universities but obviously the earlier you apply the better i remember i had some people i knew and they applied later on and it took longer for them to get a response because not everyone was applying later on and of course now what happens after you apply after you apply i want you to start focusing on the nbt uh, i have a video on the nbt and everything about that what i did not mention was take a jacket with you it is so cold in the nbt venue at up i remember i was freezing and i had on a jacket it was winter so it was cold inside and outside but take a jacket but also um if you watch my video on that then i provide resources for you and then you can just study through that and decide where you'll be writing your nbt obviously from if you're from kzn you can probably write it at kzn i wrote it in pretoria at up because i live in pretoria and the nbt is not free so um i want you to start considering dates very early like like after you apply and i want you to do it whether or not like just just do it do it just do it don't let your dreams be dreams it can help you if you do badly in your finals they will consider they will look at your nbt to actually put you into the university so do it and then do well and then let's say you didn't do well in your finals you can go and like beg and tell them look at my nbt results i am uni ready um you you know they should consider you also the reason i want you to look at nbt dates this early is because if you are applying at a place like i've said also so many times if you're applying at uct for instance they want to see your nbt results with your application now obviously applications close i think august somewhere there they close somewhere there but the nbt you can write up until december but what does it help because now after writing your nbt it takes four weeks to get your results so think about that and consider what i said i said <clears throat> I said the earlier you apply the better so if you want to do if you want to apply at UCT early then you have to write your NBT early but also don't rush yourself with it because you're going to be doing exams and exam prep for university and if you're in matric now imagine all this quarantining stuff and like now you don't even go to class it's even more work because you have to do some self-study so don't burden yourself with it but do it okay like don't don't procrastinate writing nbt especially if you want to be in cape town next year then then do it so you can use it to apply okay sis oh bro okay um i pretty much mentioned everything about applying everything i did as well um also if you do not go to rest just look at private accommodation as well private accommodation is different from an apartment because private accommodation you do have a roommate so it is cheaper it is around rest prices um and also by the way i should mention when you apply to rest there is the initial there is the deposit fee of 5700 and then there's also the amount of actual rest but i think the 5000 is obviously subtracted from the full amount uh, depending on where you apply the prices change so if you apply to a normal rest ladies rest then it's less than if you apply at tax village which is um both males and females so and also a meal card is like fourteen thousand rand so yeah maybe if you just stayed at private accommodation it would be easier you wouldn't pay you wouldn't have to pay so much by a specific due date you see so that does help you out um that's pretty much it um if there is something i did not mention you can dm me or even in the comments i will reply or i don't know make a part two of anything that i missed that i 
didn't think was important now but you have been asking yourself this question i will answer your question look at this person asked me this like last week and i'm already making a video for her or him i'm not sure so uh anything you want to ask uh i am here and i love my shirt anyway thank you so much for watching bye Thank you.